I'm your host, Boyan Dulovic, and today we're going to talk about the Nexus 7 Dock. Now, first of all, what I like about it is the price. It's cheap. It's 30 bucks on the Google Play Store, which I think is really reasonable considering what it does. Another positive about it is it has speaker input, which means you can plug in any external speakers and it's going to sound great. It's slick and it's going to look great no matter where you put it. Also, if you turn on Daydream on your Nexus 7, you can use it as a clock, which is really cool. Also, if you really wanted, you could use your Nexus 7 with the dock as a touch laptop. All you have to do is just include a wireless or Bluetooth keyboard connected with the Nexus 7, and there you go. Now, some of the things that drive me a little nuts about it is, first of all, when you buy it, it doesn't include anything except for the dock. There's no cables, there's no adapter, there's nothing, just the dock. That's a bit of a downer. It's a bit of a douchey move. They could have at least included a USB cable. Another thing that drives me a bit nuts is the packaging itself. On the packaging, it says speaker. Now, to me, when I saw that, it meant, well, well perfect. It has a built-in speaker. It doesn't. All it means is that you can input external speakers, which, which is great. I love that feature, but that's a bit misleading to me. I don't know if it was done on purpose or if it was just an unlucky coincidence, but to me, eh, they could change that. Now, all in all, I think it's a great product. I think the price is right. And considering what it does, I, I think it does a great job. So I definitely recommend it. Stay tuned for the next review. It's coming shortly. Hey guys, if you like this video, feel free to check out some of my other videos and check out my other shows on this channel. And if you like it, subscribe.